Now we're gone. That has fought against Jerusalem. Wow. All those that have fought against Jerusalem, all the nations that have fought against Israel, the so-called Caucasian, the so-called Arab, the so-called Chinese, they are going to be destroyed. These are the plagues coming to those that have fought against Jerusalem. Read on. Kahn Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. How does your flesh consume away from something of extreme heat burning you alive? In the middle of a thermonuclear detonation is over one million degrees at temperature. One million degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature at the core of a nuclear explosion. That's going to eat your flesh away. Your flesh is going to be burned out from, from your eyes and on your, and on your skin so you can understand. Read on. And their eyes shall consume away in their own. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. That happens from a thermonuclear blast. That's the plague coming on this earth. These nations are going to use these nuclear weapons all on each other and destroy most of the earth. And when the smoke clears, the Negro, Latino, and Native American is going to rule the planet Earth. You are the Jew according to the Bible. You are the chosen people of God. You're not, you're not a damn African. Show me one African that sent one boat across the Lake Ontario to get their people out of hell in Toronto. They damn sure didn't. They damn sure didn't. So what in the hell are we doing running around saying we're Africans? We're not the same. We're not the same. Read on. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Thermonuclear destruction, man. It's going to burn the tongue out of your goddamn head. And burn the skin off your flesh. That's the end of this world. Give me John 3.16, Central Robertson. Come on that topic. Give me John 3.16. John 3.16. The Christian church has lied about John 3.16. After they molest your child, they get up and say, on the, on the pulpit, and say, God loves everybody. As long as you, uh, Jesus Christ came, and for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. That's a damn lie according to the Bible. I'm going to show you John 3.16 is only talking about the Israelites. We coming to you out of the Bible. We coming to you with scriptures in the Bible telling you that God only loves the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Jews, the Israelites, according to the Bible, man. Read John 3.16. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God so loved the world. There we go, Christians. Holy Ghost, love, praise Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Read on. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish whosoever believeth in him shall not perish whosoever right continue but have everlasting life but have everlasting life go ahead verse 17 got that take me to uh hebrews 11 and 3 hebrews 11 and 3 we're going to show you who is the world that god so loves who is the world that god so loves is it everybody or is it a specific world you take it to the table if you have a question. We got a table there on the side. All right. Hebrews chapter eleven and verse three. We're going to show you. We're going to show you what world that's talking about. The word world doesn't mean earth. Slack your button. You bringing out something real heavy and very powerful. Okay. We have visitors. We have visitors after we set up our camp here. The Christian Church just came out to speak against us. The Christian Church. The preacher. He just came out to speak against us, to speak against black people, Hispanics and Native Americans. The Christian did not go across the street to speak against the gay pride. The Christian church is gay. The Christian church is filled with pedophilia, sodomy, huh, what else? Gays, lesbians, and everybody is mad. Everybody's upset with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Everybody's upset with ISUPK for saying black people, Hispanic people, Native American people, let's come together. Everybody hates that. But nobody hates lesbians, gays, transgender, bisexual. Nobody's saying anything about them coming together. They can come together, right? It's fine for them to come together. But when we come out here and say black Americans, black Canadians, Huh? Jamaicans, Hispanics, Haitians. Right. When we say we need to come together, 
We need to love each other. We need to have pride in who we are. Everybody hates that? You hate that? The ISUPK is here to tell you Canadians in Toronto, you a bunch of hypocrites. You are hypocrites. You're liars. You put up the gay flag and you support gay people, that's fine. That's fine. But don't get mad at black men for saying blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans and Caribbeans, we need to come together. Why are you upset with that? Why can't we say that? Isn't it our freedom and our right? You people are hypocrites. The white man is nothing but the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Because he's nothing but a hypocrite. He will allow you to promote gays. He'll allow you to promote transgender. They over there stripping. They damn nothing with babies walking around. They get nothing. But if we come out here and we speak, everybody hates that. You can't talk about the Bible no more? Isn't that a liberty and a freedom? Huh? Well, the Most High is getting ready to shut everything down. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. You know why? Because there are men waking up. There are black men waking up in masculinity and strength. The day has changed now. You can see it in the times. You can see, I saw COVID. You see monkeypox. I just seen a parade walk by of the Ukrainian flag. Everybody's in support of Ukraine. That's fine. You be in support of Ukraine. Y'all get together with Ukraine. All right? Y'all send billions upon billions of dollars. Canada and America send billions upon billions of dollars to the Ukraine. What about the Native Americans in Canada? Dying on the reservations. Y'all don't know about that? Does anybody know about that? Huh? The First Nations? What's the tribes over here? They dying on the re reservation. The Iroquois. The Mohawk. All them babies kidnapped and abducted and raped. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the Native Americans that are dying in Canada. But you got the day now. Give Commander General Johanna and I as you began can. Because we're going to speak. We're going to speak our truth. Y'all love that, right? Speak the truth. You create the narrative. All that nonsense, right? right. We're going to come out here and speak for our people to come together. Go ahead, read it. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 gather yourselves together do what gather yourselves together do what gather yourselves together y'all mad at Putin you mad at Putin y'all don't know history do you y'all don't know no type of history do you do you know Ukraine used to be a part of Russia they called it the Soviet Union remember that all Putin is saying he wanted back he wants it back as one. Now, I'm not in support of Putin. I don't give a damn. I'm not in support of Ukraine. I don't give a damn. Because my people are dying here. We've been dying in North, Central, and South America for 400 years. Right. Where's our flag hanging around? Huh? Where's our reparation? Where's our $50 billion? No, nobody cares. Nobody cares. But we're going to follow this book and this Bible. Call it from the top one more time. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. O nation not desired. O nation not desired. We got to come out here and talk about the Native Americans. Canada is Native American land. Is that right? Was right. it stolen from the Native Americans? The gays and the lesbians can parade and jump around, but nobody talks about the Native Americans? Nobody gives them anything? For their slaughter? All the schools, all the Catholic schools that used to murder all the Native American babies. Am I, am I making this up? This is something y'all never heard it before, huh? Canada, you never heard it before, right? Because Canada is so nice. Canada is so nice, we'll never hurt anybody. That's a goddamn lie. How many babies is missing? How many children is missing Native Americans? Thousands. They're still looking for thousands of Native American babies. Boys and girls. Right. Missing and abducted. Their women are right. The Native American get, white women are right. In vast numbers and amounts. But nobody, there's no month for, Na there's no Native American month pride month, is there? Ain't no month for the Native Americans though, is that right? That's why, that's why you are a bunch of hypocrites. 
That's why what you believe in is trash and fallacy. You care more about sodomy, care about being a sodomite, huh? Care about being a lesbian and a gay and a bisexual and a transgender more than you do than blood of the Native Americans where you stole the land. Read it one more time. Kawakan. Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Got it together. Oh nation not desire. Oh nation not desire. Nobody desires us. Nobody desires the Jamaican, the Trinidadian, the Bahamian. Nobody cares about us. Nobody cares about the Haitian or the Hispanics and the Latinos. Nobody cares. They just had the Ukrainian procession just go by, right? Let me ask anybody a question. They had flights come from the Ukraine to bring the war refugees from Ukraine over to the Americas. Where did they go? Where did they send them? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? I thought 